okay, maybe I need someone to help me out here, but I don't really see what's wrong with iPad OS. So Apple says iPad and MacBook are supposed to be complementary, not opposing types of computing devices. And with the rise of these new OLED iPad Pros, everybody is beating on iPad OS and that the iPads are too limited. But with the iPad and iPad OS, where it stands today, not in a month from now when WWC comes out, what is the issue with iPad OS? So if you're an artist, you are you want to draw, you want to do something like that, you need a touchscreen, you're getting an iPad Pro. The OLED displays with the most color accurate thing ever, amazing. But you also want a laptop to do all your normal day-to-day -day stuff. So you buy the Magic Keyboard, you have an Apple Pencil, you're spending about $2,000, $2,200 on just the base model iPad Pro. You know, it probably could go up to $3,000, $2,800 or something if you get the higher model. And that's extremely expensive, right? MacBooks can be the same. You know, you get a MacBook Air, yeah, you're spending $1,000. You get a MacBook Pro with similar power as the iPad Pro, the M4. So you get an M3 Max Pro. Uh, MacBook Pro, then it's going to be around the same cost, right? You're not getting the pencil, you're not getting the touchscreen. So, if you're not an artist, don't buy the iPad. Buy an iPad Mini, buy an iPad Air, something cheaper, so you still have an iPad for the iPad experience, right? But if you need the touch experience, you need the iPad experience for your work, yeah, the Pro is going to do that. And it honestly, it does it very well, right? Yeah, you use apps and you can't really connect it to a monitor and it be as smooth as a MacBook. But what you are doing is you are drawing, you are using your main device as a drawing device. You are able to use pro apps like Final Cut, Touch, and Logic too. And okay, granted, I don't have much experience with either of those two apps, especially not on the iPad. So I can't really say if it's good or bad. But if you're using Procreate all the time, which is incredible on the iPad, and then you hop over to Logic or Final Cut, you're able to do some things on it, right? Is it as functional as the MacBook? I don't see why not. You're using a trackpad. If you have the Magic Keyboard, you have the trackpad, you have mouse support. Why can't it be as functional? You have the power. It's not iPad OS that's limiting. It's the app and its features itself that are limiting. I could be totally wrong here if I am. Somebody please tell me in the comments down below. Because, yeah, I can be an idiot sometimes. Whatever. We all are. So, you get an iPad Pro. You use Procreate all the time. You're drawing all the time. You have the Magic Keyboard to do iPad, or to do laptop things. What are laptop things? One, browsing the web. Safari. Two, using different things like, you know, QuickBooks to manage your business. And iPad does that just fine. iPad does it just as well as the Mac. So again, I'm asking, why are we beating down on iPad OS compared to the Mac? iPad OS is just a simplified version of the Mac. If everybody wants iPad OS to be just as complex and professional focused on the Mac, okay, that's one thing. But why are we wanting that? Is it because artists who like to use the iPad for drawing and things are not professionals? I don't know. I think people are making too big of a fuss over nothing. Again, could be totally wrong. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm Jake. This is John on my phone.